hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have n plus 3 and its whole power 3 plus n plus 5 and its whole power 3 is equals to 8 and we will solve this problem for the real values of n so here you remember one thing is that we will solve this problem for real values so the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rewrite this equation as here you have n plus 3 and we write it as n plus 4 minus 1 and its whole cubed plus we write this term as n plus 4 plus 1 and its whole cubed equals to 8 after this step we will uh, write this equation in the simplest form so that here we can just take n plus 4 and this n plus 4 equals to y so when you take y is equals to n plus 4 then you will write the above equation as y minus 1 when you put n plus 4 is equals to y, it will become y minus 1 whole cubed plus when you put here, then you get y plus 1 whole cubed equals to y. And after this step, we will use here the uh, nice cubic formula. And you know about this formula if we have a cubed plus b cubed, it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square and here you just focus on the left hand side and you see that we have this is the value of a and this is the value of b so you just put the values of a and b in this cubic formula and you will get its output in the form of here you have a plus b and our a is y minus 1 plus y plus 1 into a square minus a b a is y minus 1 square and minus times of a b so a is y minus 1 and b is y plus 1 and b square and b is y plus 1 whole square and this equation equals to 8 so after this step we will need to simplify this equation and here you see that this minus 1 and plus 1 are cancelled by each other and here you obtain 2 times of y into here you can open the formula of y minus 1 whole square and you get y squared minus 2y plus 1 and similarly here we apply the formula of y minus 1 into y plus 1 it is equals to y square minus 1 and now we can open this formula here and you get y square plus 2y plus 1 and this whole equation equals to 8 and in the next step we will make a simplification here and you get 2 times of y into here you see that this plus 2y and this minus 2y are cancelled by each other and here you have y squared plus y squared equals to 2y squared and this 1 plus 1 equals to 2 and we multiply this minus sign on both of the term and you get minus y squared plus 1 and this whole equation equals to 8. So uh, in the next step we will first divide both of the sides by 2 so when you divide both of the sides by 2 here then you will obtain these two are cancelled by each other here you get y and here you have 2y square minus y square it is equals to uh, y and 2 plus 1 equals to 3 and this whole equal equals to here you have 2 4 the 8 it is equals to 4 so uh, in the next step we will multiply uh, 
सो हेर यू टू वाई स्क्वेयर एंड माइनस वाई स्क्वेयर इक्वल्स टू वाई स्क्वेयर सो नाउ वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस वाई ऑन बोथ ऑफ द टर्म्स एंड यू विल सिंप्लीफाइड एंड यू गेट वाई क्यूब्ड प्लस थ्री वाई एंड वी मूव दिस फोर इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड यू गेट माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू जीरो सो नाउ वी विल मेक द फैक्टर्स ऑफ दिस क्यूबिक टर्म एंड यू नो दैट Uh, how to make the factors of this equation so i can write this as y cubed and here you have plus 3y and we will write it as minus y plus 4y minus 4 equals to 0 so now you can take common something from here and here so in the first two factors you will take common y and you get y square minus 1 plus here you take common 4 and you get y minus 1 equals to 0 and we will open this formula here and you will write it as y times of y minus 1 into y plus 1 and plus 4 times of y minus 1 equals to 0 and now you can focus on both of the terms and you see that we have y minus 1 be the common term so that we will write y minus 1 times of y into y plus 1 plus 4 and this whole equals to 0 so here you get two cases the first case is we take y minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we multiply this y on both of the terms and you get y square plus y plus 4 equals to 0 so here we have these two cases and now we can solve these two cases for the values of for the real values of y so now from first case you will easily get the value of y equals to 1 and here now first we will check this quadratic win has real roots or not so that we will use discriminant formula to check the roots of this equation so here you have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 4 and our discriminant formula is delta equals to b square minus 4 times of ac and we put the values of abc here then you get 1 square minus 4 times of 1 into c is 4 so 1 square is 1 and 4 4 is a 16 and 1 minus 16 equals to minus 15 and here you see that we have our delta is less than 0 and if this delta is less than 0 then it means that this quadratic equation has no real root if it has no real root no real root then we will reject it this case because in this problem we need only real roots so now we can just proceed here this case only and here you have y is equal to 1 and in the start of the problem uh, we will uh, take y is equals to n plus 4 so when you can back substitute the value of y here so n plus 4 equals to 1 and when we move this 4 in the right hand side then you will get here 1 minus 4 and our final answer will be n is equals to minus 3 so n is equals to minus 3 be the final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos